warmer. It's a warmer winter than it is compared to most of Canada. Mm -hmm. yeah. The important the, the important distinction is uh, Iceland. The bracket is, is that big. It's like twenty to minus twenty. Yeah, uh, Iceland is nice, and Greenland is icy. Yep. Iceland rarely got below minus five, although for my trip, it got to minus 10, which even the locals said, this is not normal. And I'm like, yeah, I read your winter is anywhere from minus five to plus 10. Lord. All righty. Here we go. We are, we are live. Uh, I should check, make sure my audio is working. All right. Perfect. Uh, so this is session 73 of Forbidden Lands. This may end up being a shorter session. Uh, it's kind of a prepping prepping session for uh, for the next stage of things uh, you guys have uh, managed to acquire all of the elvish gems uh, made a deal with the orcs uh, in the process you kind of you've realized that by keeping them in close vicinity to the crown it seems to nullify jacuzzi's ability to find them and send nasty things after you um, so you haven't been harassed in that regard You've uh, met some, met a group of sisters, or people who proclaim to be sisters, uh, each of which that seems to use a different form of magic. Uh, and they uh, they showed you some hospitality, uh, gave you some information, healed uh, Desi and Tresius from their crimson sickness. Uh, but you uh, wisely decided not to get involved in any of their inter-family squabbling. Uh, and you have finally made your way back to the Dwarven refugee camp. Uh, <clears throat> the doors were displaced from their home when a dragon moved in. But they agreed that if you were to free up their home, they would uh, give you access to the forge. Uh, with the plan to use that forge to make a, uh, a demon-slaying weapon out of the dragon bones. Um, I think that's everything of import that's happened lately. <coughs> uh, but we will pick up as you guys have uh, arrived at the Dwarven encampment. All right. When you said at the end of the last game that it looks like they were making it a permanent home, were they like trying to build, like move on from like tent-like things to like building like huts or you know cabins or something uh not so much but they've got like some they've got like some fences erected and like little garden plots that sort of thing so no permanent structures but you know some necessities Oh, it looks like somebody's been busy. I mean, well, you don't think you can go home, you gotta do something with yourself. Let's let's go announce them the good news. I uh, imagine they'll be happy to be able to go back home. Perfect. I'll just use this. And we can get a bit more dwarven poetry while we're here. Uh, so yeah. As, yeah. Okay. Uh, as you as you approach the, uh, <laughs> you know there are there are some dwarven guards, that kind of like you know, have the crossbows pointed at you. And one of them's like, oh, wait, I recognize you. Yeah, yep. hi. Somehow we survived. <laughs> well, I mean, that's not nothing. I mean, did you actually, did you, oh, never mind. Um, yeah, come on, come on in. And he, like, motions to one of the other doors. He's like, Go tell Underbane that the, uh, the, 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 uh, the wolfkin and the human and the elf. You don't know the ones, the, the ones that we sent to, uh, deal with the dragon. <laughs> they, uh, they, they made it back. 
And killed the dragon. Oh, I wasn't gonna ask. I figured that was that was your story. <laughs> that was your story to tell when the when the moment was right. But uh, apparently, this is the moment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, why else? Why Much more dra dramatic to reveal. Eh? <laughs> I, uh, not exactly a drama person. Uh, but yeah, you, they, yeah, that would be risen. <clears throat> yeah. So, so yeah, they kind of like you know move aside. They, they usher you into the gates. Um, I mean, it doesn't look like to, to Desi. It doesn't look like this uh, this gate would stop any sort of like determined opponent. Uh, but it gives them some semblance of security. One of those like it just doesn't feel right not being surrounded by walls all the time. You know, it's a start. Yeah, I mean, this open space is uh, for the birds. No, I, I don't mind being indoors either. I got to tell you. Well, you know, you grow up with like surrounded by walls and stone, you know, all around you, overhead. You know, you know I don't think I was. Uh, Probably at least forty before I saw my own my uh, my first sunrise. Well, I don't mind windows, but I do prefer to stay indoors under the rain. Yeah, so this is a. Uh, it'd be good to get back home. Uh, and you guys are uh, eventually led to the what's functioning as like their their main hall. The. Uh, the, the dwarf that sent you on this quest, uh, Skogan, is here. Um, a couple of others. It's like, come in, have a seat, have some ale. Got bread fresh out of the oven. We got some game meat cooking. Sounds Glad good to, to see me. your face again. Mm, it's good to see your face, too. Uh, especially... I mean, we weren't sure that you would all come back, if any of you, so. Why? Yeah, we, we've been known to be vexing like that. Well, because, uh, you know. Kobe just won't die. The last we heard, you were going to go, you know, rescue our home from a dragon. It's generally the, not the sort of thing you expect people to come back from. Like, either they're bullshitting you and they don't bother with the follow-through, or they die to the dragon. So, I'm impressed either way. We are dumb and successful. <laughs> but I'm glad we can bring you good news. <laughs> Pull up a chair, fill us in, how'd it go... I mean, obviously, obviously one, the dragon's dead. So the place looked like it was um, in okay I'm going to bring down from the... I'm going to bring down the head from the saddlebag from the horse. Um, so uh, if Risen want to tell the tale of the fight, uh, he has props to do it. The the place seems in okay shape. Couple of collapsed tunnel and the thing ate all the metal it had access to. But uh the structure is sound. Alright, well that's good to know. I mean we can we can rebuild easy enough. Uh I will I'll try to give a nice little performance about our escapades and make ourselves look even better than we normally did. But uh, using uh, <laughs> our souvenirs as evidence. Uh, but not withhold information about the, you know, the orcs and stuff we saw. Not withholding? Yeah, I'm not going to hide the fact. That I'm not going to. What do you guys think? I don't think we should hide that. Hi, Twitch. Uh, oh, no, they orcs, not. Uh, blue flame, all that crap. Like, uh, the, the orcs? 
they're uh, one X away, but they should know to make themselves safe from them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's going to be kind of obvious when they try to take over, right? Yeah, exactly. So they'll tell them now, but, you know, make ourselves look good. We killed the dragon. We did what we were supposed to do. But hey, you know, those guys are there too. We ran Don't into them. Me. We didn't kill them. <laughs> no. Right. Well, I mean, orcs are. I mean, organized orcs are going to be dangerous. Some of the best fights I've ever had have been with orcs, so, you know. I'm sure the best fights they've ever had were against dwarves, too. I have a great fight with them. It'll be like the good old days. Except no dragon. Oh, that's why I said the good old days. <laughs> uh, and... uh, I just need to find a bit more metal to replace all the, the metal that uh, that thing ate. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can manage that. Yeah. Well, when we get back there, we'll uh, we'll take stock. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what we need. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to lay in supplies for sure. Uh, I don't imagine anything that we had in stores is going to be any good. Uh, we'll need to get the forge up and running. Uh, I promise to you guys that uh, we do that for you. Yeah, we, can, is... uh, we can open the trade rooms. Can you? Uh, 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 we have food, copper, and silver. Oh, excellent! If we can trade. All right. We haven't found iron yet, but. That's okay. We can uh, we can sniff it out, coax it out of the earth. Our uh, our stone singers will get to work on that. Oh uh, yeah, I spoke with someone and they talked to me about something. Uh, do you know anything about black coal? I know coal is black, but this one being black coal. Uh yeah, black coal. It's a uh, it's like a byproduct. It's usually found uh, found around like you know some of the rarer metals. Uh, you know. Like adamantine, mithril, find a vein of that, you can usually find black coal. Burns hotter than anything I've ever seen. Uh, you know, it's a. Some other thing we might need to cook or forge might need some of that. Depending on what you're forging, I mean, it'll melt just about anything. It's the only way my grandfather knew to, uh, to forge some of the harder metals. Yeah, we got some metal that came from the sky. Oh, well. You got it with you. I can take a look at it. Um, let me check. Uh, and in the meantime, as uh, as folks are, like, relaying the story of fighting the dragon and the orcs and, you know, the the, the journey to get the dragon slaying hammer and all of that stuff, the uh, the young dwarf bard that you met previously... Is uh, is taking notes and asking all kinds of questions. You know, can you describe the dragon? Like, how big was it? How big were its teeth? Would you say its teeth were like man-sized? You know, what was its breath like? Did it breathe fire? Like, just all of the all of the questions. Desi will try to answer somewhat factually. And yeah, he's just <clears throat> taking a lot of notes. And he's like, hmm, wonder what rhymes with dragon. <gasps> Flagon. Flagon rhymes with dragon. <laughs> Goes back to dragon. Wagon. Uh, yep, sure. Oh, this will be, this will be truly be epic. I mean, you can you can make you can scare the bejesus out of people. That thing ate metal. <laughs> yeah, and it was kind of acid. Mm. We were prepared for fire. I thought dragons breathe Lots fire. Of acid. I mean, all of the stories are the dragons. Yeah, fire. that's what I expected. To. That's what I expect them to. That'll make this story unique then. Yep. Five, Can't wait to hear your rendition. Five brave heroes go off in face of a dragon. 
little knowing what lay in store for them. I can't remember. Was it a dark and stormy night um, when you left? If, uh... We found rain plenty of times. It, it, was, it, it was stormy, yeah. It was raining the, the, the night we left. Excellent. Every good story starts with it was a dark and stormy and, uh... night. Sure. Suddenly and, uh, the main screamed, so and the pirate ship bloomed. If all goes well, well, you'll have a second part to the story. How, how does that work with the greatest of dwarven if tales? If all goes well, you'll have a, a second part. Mountains? Oh, well, I mean, our oldest tales are from, you know, dwarves who have gone to the surface, so. Uh, honestly, I've, up until recently, I've never seen a dark and stormy night. It's quite impressive. Uh, if all goes well, you will have a second part to your story. Use the dragon scale and dragon blood to try to forge a sword to kill a demon. That would definitely make an excellent sequel. I'll give you the bits of the story before we leave, just in case we don't come back. All right, excellent. Thank you. And so, yeah, so the uh, what time is it? Oh, it's evening or afternoon. Um, so, yeah, the afternoon is filled with, you know, like every, it seems like every dwarf wants to hear the story. Um, so you get finished telling it to one group and then somebody else wanders in and they're like, hey, hey, you got to hear this. Um, and just like over and over and over. Uh, the, the dwarves are very, very keen on hearing the, the, the tale of the valiant heroes who, like, reclaimed their homeland. Yeah, probably about the third or fourth retelling, uh, Desi starts trying to bow out. <laughs> like, just kind of, uh-huh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure Kaldi will be happy to tell you about that. Or, or Ryzen. Ryzen loves telling stories. All the time. Just that's why I'm it. training the bard. That's why, that's why I'm training the bard so he can start telling a story. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I need to be here for this retelling. I uh, yeah, just gotta go stretch my legs and uh, swing my arms a bit and uh, not be here. Um, and uh, as you walk around the camp, there does it like word is filtered out that you know it's time to go home, and people are starting to you know pack up their belongings and like load up carts and all that sort of thing. Like they they don't plan to stay here any longer than is necessary. Just gonna chart a course that avoids both the orc army and uh, the, the the enchanted forest. Um, yeah, from here, it's a pretty... And pretty I'm going to show the... Search. Okay. I'm going to sh show a piece of star metal to their leader. Hi. Um, yeah, he'll he'll take a look at it and I'm like, oh. Interesting. Interesting properties. Kind of like holds it up and sniffs it. Kind of like, you know, hits it with a little hammer. Kind of like seems like he's like listening to the, the vibrations. So this this is this is impressive metal. This, not from uh, not from here for sure. Yeah, you spoke about some impressive metal too. We we need to make a weapon to kill something that is not meant to be killed. So trying to put all the chance we have on our side. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, most uh, most stories I've heard are, you know, creatures can't be hurt by, you know, iron or steel. But uh, this is neither. Yep. Open for. Yeah, the fort should be able to handle this. Uh, it would help if I could... Yeah, we'll have to figure out what would to help if I could find the exact weakness of the beast, though. 
Some creatures that are powerful just don't have one. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah. But I've heard that usually demon with names and have something against them. My best bet is to find somebody who knows the demon then. Yep. What do you mean? Who Not sure where to knows? look for her right now, but. Well, I mean, demons kind of, uh, you know, they're sneaky gets. Mm -hmm. So if he's got a weakness, it's going to be a secret. He's probably not going to find it in a find it in a book or uh, you know, happen to stumble across a piece of paper with it written down on it. So you're going to have to find somebody who knows, who might have been able to ferret it out and lived. Yeah. And I think oh, the time we sleep, uh, go away, I go away from the crown and maybe sleep with the hard glass. Somebody, uh, somebody new we could have asked questions to. What was the oh shit, Desi? Oh, um, needing to find somebody who knows the demon personally. The only one I know I got are the one that's got turned to stone. Well, there was the one in the tower. Yeah, he didn't seem very keen on Giving us information? Probably not. And like we might need we might need to find a weakness to. Mm. Yes, she's gonna get in the way of us like poking our boyfriend. Could have always try to find the guy who gave us the mission to go to the tower. That hell probably knows something about it. But he's also the guy who betrayed our night friend. Oh. Um The uh Andra. Elvin a wizard and the rest. They might know. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I think I'm going to try to take the brooch away from the crown tonight. Lindaris and... See if we can speak with the Hourglass. Far and Felora. They might know. Although I don't... I, Could be worth trying. I never asked Andre. There was always other try. shit going on that was more important. Yeah. Was Triscus wearing the armor? Uh, he is, yes. Yep. Okay, good. As long as it's not just in a bag, it would be sad. But yeah, uh, I think I, I'm going to try to speak with the one formerly known as the Hourglass uh, tonight. Felora. Far is the one who turned herself yes. into armor. I don't really know much more about either of them, but I can ask. Never hurts. Well, if she has a passion that would take her to turn into an enemy, uh, I can figure out the kind of personality she'd rather speak to, probably. Yeah. And uh, from experience, um, if they don't like you, they'll tell you. 
Oh yeah. Like if there's if there's somebody else that uh, they should be with, they aren't shy about saying it. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised that that's the mm. I'm surprised it's letting I think the crown it. suppress uh, I think uh, the, the the crown suppress the the their signal enough maybe it allows them to be worn by anyone. Hmm. Uh, I mean, nobody. I mean, nobody could hear. Christian didn't have a dream speaking with them because he was wearing the crown. So that's why I'm thinking of taking the brooch and sleeping a bit farther away from him than that. Yeah, we still gotta make sure that the objects that are not in the the area of the crown are not close by together and not numerous, so we don't attract Jakku's sight. Like, I won't stay with the brooch close to uh, your sword. Pretty sure there's enough space in the camp here for us to sleep farther apart. Yeah. Hmm. I don't miss carrying those things around, you know. I, I, don't know. I like Breath. I like Andre more, but we're used to each other, I guess. We're good together. Well, I like Rustbite. I like Rustbite. Rustbite doesn't turn on me. <laughs> <laughs> I like and a Cena. We have access but to a Cena. Blood and Forge, maybe. I like a Cena, but a Cena bites Turns back. <laughs> yeah. But and if hands come to worse, I'll have Rosbite in a hand and a Cena in the other. Yeah. A Cena's nice. Don't get me wrong. I mean if I if I wasn't using Breath and really keen with her, uh a Cena's a good sword. But she does bite back, and she doesn't talk. She's not, she's not like Breath. But I mean, as a sword goes, she definitely deserves a name for sure. Oh yeah. But yeah, if I had to choose between the uh, two, I take Breath every yeah. day. Yeah, I just have a thing for Rosbite. <laughs> but Rosbite and Asino make a great pair. Mm. I'll just I'll just need to check with the dwarf. They said they could help me fix Rosbite. Yeah, we should get everything. Maybe, maybe fixed up if we can I need to speak, I need to ask him if you know a metal that won't rust ever maybe I could reinforce rust bite with it maybe well I say I could maybe they could or dress is good <laughs> not very good at making yeah. things I'm pretty sure we've got gear that needs a tap or two to fix it up. Oh, my chainmail takes a beating. My chainmail always needs to be fixed. That's just how it oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> um, Breath's in good shape right now. Uh, my helm's in good shape because I haven't had it long enough to break it yet. 
I'm sure <laughs> how you stop blocking with your face now that you have it. Yeah. Yeah. My 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 chainmail on the other hand, my chainmail has taken a thump or two. There's some links oh, yeah. that are definitely missing. There's like a whole a whole section that's just wide open. And if I get hit there, it's gonna hurt like a son of a bitch. Yeah. We are gonna get that space. Yeah. Just takes a couple of broken links and then the whole thing falls apart. Anyway, from what I hear, it's gonna take a few, uh, uh, quite a bit of time for Christmas to finish the terminal uh, weapons. So, we'll have time to fix everything and train and all the rest. So, uh, since you've been actually chatting with people who do things as opposed to getting stopped every three steps to find out how big a dragon's teeth are, um, are they, I saw people carrying shit, are they packing yeah. now and we're going to move everything back to the mountain? and then work on stuff or are we working on stuff here and they're just leaving us here with their big fancy the forge I is think the, the fancy forge is, is the forge is in the mountain yeah okay all right the, the so forge we just is need in the to mountain. help that's the whole thing we need to help them get their shit packed up yeah yep. they they do have we're going to rest here tonight Head out tomorrow. Sorry. Yep. Uh, they they do have like a small forge here because there wouldn't be doors without one. But their forge is in the mountain. <laughs> they wouldn't be dwarves without one. I mean, you yeah. gotta protect your, uh, your identity, cultural heritage, designated yep. project of origin. <laughs> But I think we're going to sleep here tonight, and uh, we're going to pack and try to move in the coming days. I assume. I'm all for that. Well, you know, by the time, you know, evening rolls around, you guys have, you know, had a chance to talk and tell your stories and tell your stories. Uh, is there anything in particular folks would like to do with the dwarves here? Uh, I keep ch uh, forgetting to check if my I'm gonna... armor's okay. Uh, do you want to get some repair done before we leave? Uh, it says attribute six. Is that accurate? Is that is that already okay? Yep, that's uh, six is the standard for chainmail. Okay, perfect. Then I think I'm okay. Um, well, I don't know why I'm carrying around a raw material iron. <laughs> if anybody would like, we're that. out of space. Yeah, okay. I was going to say anyway. we probably need anyone who could hold any to take some. <laughs> All right. Well, I have a piece of iron if anybody wants it. You are a pack mule, I believe. I am the one that taught everybody how to be pack meals. I'm so good at it. Yep. yep. That's very precious knowledge. <laughs> give this give this guy a carrot. <laughs> yeah, it's called he's kinda of holding out the uh, uh, uh the, the iron or the, the iron um or one of the passing dwarves is like I'll take that if you don't need it. Anybody care if I give this away? I mean, I mean, what do we need to get repaired? We might need iron to get things repaired. <laughs> My chainmail. I don't know if that works like that, though. All right. Oh, uh, this okay. This is a deposit like on the chainmail. Okay, also. that's what I'll say. <laughs> oh, chainmail, eh? Yeah, she needs it repaired. 
Mm. He kind of looks at the big holes in it. I could fix it up. Or I could sell you a brand new set. How much is a brand new set? Counting this piece of iron. For you, as heroes of my people, 20 silver. Hmm. We killed your dragon? It wasn't my dragon. Well, we restored your homeland? Home hole? Home mountain? Hmm. And I'm, I'm going to need to resupply my shop, and I'm probably going to need to pay for repairs. What if I threw in a uh, magnifying glass or a metal plate? What type of or a musical metal? instrument? What type of metal or plate? Or a weapon. How about a weapon? A spyglass? Dwarfs like tankard. Is that racist to say? I hear doors like tankards. Mm, I don't think you have enough tankards to pay for chainmail. Tell you what, uh, as heroes of my people who've reclaimed their homeland at great risk of life and limb, 20 silver. <laughs> I've given away all my, all my stuff to Dizzy, though, so... <laughs> I mean, I could repair this, but we all know that repaired goods are never as good as like brand new. They always have structural oh. flaws that you can never quite recover from. All right, I am going to pull away everything. I've worn enough repaired chainmail that I don't actually believe you. Sorry, what was that, Ryzen? I was going to say, by that logic, the moment the thing gets damaged slightly, you might as well just throw it out. Mm, drive it off the lot. All right. I'm going to pull out of my sack a two-handed uh, two battle axe worth 24 silver. Let's say, how about exquisite, exquisite chain mail for this piece of iron and this two-handed battle axe? Hmm. He kind of looks at your pack. He's like... You can see him trying to do the math as to how that fit. <laughs> it's bigger on the inside. <laughs> you don't just have chain mail in there? No, no. I've got lots of weapons, uh, some trade goods, but no, no, no armor. Armor's heavy, you know. I'm just a little guy. Uh, all right, fine. A uh, new set of chain mail for the, the battle axe and the iron. All right, I'll knock off a willpower and uh, drop the iron. Two willpower. Uh, no. Oh, yes, because it's you're right. Might be three actually. Yeah, maybe three. Because nice. it's twenty-four, so it would just. Yeah. Best it, what's my path of gold for? You could, you could have spent two willpower and a path of gold to get two gold. <laughs> That's twenty silver. All right, that cost me three willpower and a piece of iron. And he'll like go over to the cart that he was in the process of packing, and uh, kind of like rummage around, and pull out this uh, this box. Kind of like you know, it's got some dust on it. Yeah. And I'll look, I'll look interestingly at the box, <laughs> just like he was looking at my pack. Uh, and uh, he will pull out a uh, a very well crafted, although still mundane, uh, suit of chainmail. Like there's definite like uh, artsmanship that went into it. Pretty. I mean, anybody can make chain mail. It takes an artist to make something, you know, that you could wear to court. 
Do I strike you as somebody who plans to go to court? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to. Baldy was underneath the brush. She strikes me as somebody who's been to court. <laughs> Gotta tap him with my foot. You didn't get on this island because you, you were selling flowers. Bunny. I mean, are we talking about court like going to see the king or court like you been accused of murder? I think the dwarf meant the former. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I've, no. I've definitely done the latter. Uh, either, either really. I'm not going to judge. I <laughs> get it. <laughs> I like this guy. Such a comedian. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna have to take it in because you're uh, you're you're a little bit taller than the normal people I work for, and not quite as broad across the shoulders. Almost. And uh, I don't have to worry about making sure that your beard doesn't get cut in the upper rings. No, no, that should be fine. If my hair gets too long, I'll just <laughs> cut my hair. Yeah, I gotta I... change the armor. I can make this. I can make this work. She'll kind of run her fingers over like the back of her hair. Maybe I should cut my hair. Hmm. Usually, just kind of tie it up. Fur and you want to cut it? Well, I mean, anytime I've ever cut it before, I just kind of grab a handful and. Run my sword across it. Seems to do the trick. Yeah, you don't want to have someone be able to grab you by it. Yeah, no one usually gets a chance to try. Anybody yeah. tries to touch my hair, they lose the hand. <laughs> and sometimes they just lose the hand because I mean, it depends on the fight. But. I mean. Eh. I How mean, close it'll... they need to be to your hair to lose the hand could be one or two meters. I don't think my hair's ever going to get long enough for that to be a problem. I usually just kind of either stuff it down the back of my shirt or stuff it up under my helmet. Yep. Shit, maybe I should just cut it off. Hmm. Gotta make sure it's not too long or else uh, one of those guys is gonna get you a pretty dress. They tried once. Oh, that's not gonna happen. I don't think anybody mistakes me for somebody who wears a pretty dress. Might be because I usually have, you know, some blood splash. Did I buy you a dress bit. once? Did you buy me That's a dress That's exactly once? what I was saying. I was pretty sure I bought you a dress once. <laughs> yep, that's what I was referring to. <laughs> Why the hell did you buy me a dress? I can't remember. I'm an old man now, and things don't stick around like they used to. <laughs> I'm not an old man, and I don't uh, remember first, buying me a dress. The, the, the first big market we got to, uh, he, he bought you a dress. You never wore it, but he did buy you a dress. Imagine. You, you almost smacked him. I don't remember that. Me neither. I mean, that sounds like I mean, negotiating for it. I, I have the excuse of <clears throat> I get knocked in the head on a relatively regular basis. And sometimes memories don't stick quite the way they're supposed to. Um, it, was the, it was the time we realized that uh, most people here didn't have a, a, a spare change of clothes. And we're just wearing the same crusty things since the time we got on the island. We I remember that. I just don't remember day. an actual dress. I think I joked about it. I think I joked about it, but I don't know if anyone actually went and bought one. Pretty sure. Yeah, Colby went. Colby went out in secret to buy one. He almost got smacked. Never saw Dizzy wear it though. I don't even remember having it. 
It's just me. I mean, Desi has to put on a little fashion show. Well, we can rectify that in the future next time we get back. I. Just, I, I did at one point just kind of take my pack and empty it out once we took over the mayor's house. Just maybe dumped we everything should. in a corner and repacked and. We'll save it for the celebration when we kill a demon. Hmm. I don't even think that's enough to get me to wear a dress. <laughs> Maybe, but I greatly doubt it. Maybe if I'm really drunk. I think the best, what if uh, we kill a demon and your dress just dies? I am not. That's That's not funny. And Desi's mood goes from uh, Desi's mood goes from kind of like mildly confused about not remembering the dress and kind of you know humorous teasing to just dead flat. All right, I've lived with uh, her long enough to wander off in another direction now. <laughs> <Whistling. laughs> Not going to risk getting kicked with intent this time. I, I think those kids over there are playing uh, uh, some sort of ball game. I'll, I'll <laughs> check out the rules of that. Maybe there's a gambling thing going on. Mm. If we get you a fancy suit, I think it's going to be harmless. Ideally, yeah. Never know when shit's going to go south. And I mean, <sighs> you can get very efficient armor, and it's also fucking impressive and terrifying. Yeah. Um, about Trestius. Uh, you and I should talk. Yeah, okay. okay. Want to take I mean, some time away? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. And Desi will just kind of start walking away from as many people as possible. Like, I'm sure it's, it's a little difficult, what with, you know, dwarves going every which way packing stuff and retrieving belongings and looking for things and but yeah she'll she'll walk toward the outskirts of the throngs of people pretty sure we can find a spot yep you can you can find a spot away from people so uh a while ago. Um, remember when we met the elf and the orc who couldn't fight? They were just kind of pretending. Oh yeah, the uh, artist. Yeah. Um, Trestius was mentioning that we needed a certain number of gems. And yeah. wanted me to kill the elf. Oh. So, I don't know how much has changed now that we have Fari and Faelora. Um. Um, technically, if you wanted to fill the number of gems... We don't need that anymore. But I also don't think a random health would have been sufficient for what we're planning to do. Oh, he was talking about but himself, I mean, too. Uh, that yeah, there were yeah. a limited number of choices. And uh, so I've already... Um, failed to keep him alive once and I don't yeah. 
plan to do that again. So, if for some reason I'm not close enough, and he gets that look on his face that means he's about to do something really stupid, or he gets that look on his face that means he's decided something that no one else is going to like, uh, keep an eye on him. Mm. And I assume I should not leave him alone with other elves. That would probably be a good idea, too, until he actually says that he's changed his mind and that we have enough whatever he thinks it is we need. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he would have tried it himself. He didn't seem to be planning to try it himself. So I don't know. I don't know anything about fucking elves. Anything I know about elves I've learned from him. Yeah. The little bits from Andrew and Briath that have kind of slipped through the cracks. But I don't know if he can do it himself or if he would but I don't want him to and then I need to keep an eye on him because I've checked him I, I saw him how he goes and I don't think I can bring him back if he goes to the other side again Is old on the world and the reality is getting tenuous. We're gonna need to keep him alive the old fashioned way till he his elven magic or whatever kicks in and helps him fix himself. But uh, the way he is right now, don't think my magic can go bring him back again. Yeah, he's been kind of weird. Like, like you think his presence in the world is thin. Yeah. That makes any sense. I don't know. I mean, he's gotten weird before. Feels like after. Presence, yeah. Kind of his presence is thin. Like sometimes it feels like he's not entirely here. In a weird kind of way. But if I. I feel like if I just. Like, uh, drop him, I won't be able to grab him back. Yeah. Like you could wake up in the morning and he'd just be gone. I still think I could save you. Save me from what? I don't plan on going. Somebody ran a sword through him. Hard enough. Not sure I could save him. Pretty sure I could save you, though. Or if I yeah. ran through you, save you from... You know. <laughs> I'd prefer just not to be run through. Um, I'm not sure that Trestius feels yeah, the that's same all way. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I get the feeling sometimes he'd let himself get run yeah, through. Yeah, the problem with this is that... Yeah. The problem with this is that we got to make sure he doesn't really choose to get run through. Oh, maybe part of it was the sickness. 
that we had, hopefully. Yeah. Kind of does weird Maybe things to your brain. Blood disease, hmm? Maybe the disease didn't help. Hopefully you can yeah. get a better outlook. I always been first with death from birth, but I hope we can find solace in the rising sun or something. Yeah. Anyway, I don't let him know I told you. I don't remember him telling me not to tell anybody, but I would still rather not let him know. Um, I'd rather you tell me so I can keep an eye on him, but mm. I won't tell him. Resin okay. told me about the way of saying things that are not true. <laughs> Just avoid the subject. Yeah, that sounds like something he'd do. Hmm. And he, he slipped that in the class about how to talk. With people so I don't get everybody angry all the time. Yeah, I skipped that class. I'll just let you guys keep doing all the talking. and I'll hang back looking menacing and make sure nobody tries anything stupid. I'm I, too often stupid and want to speak with people, even if I'm not good at it, so it's better than I learn. You don't share the proximity. By the way, Daddy, hmm. are you all right? Um... Mostly, I think. Uh, I'm not sick anymore. That's good. Uh, I don't wake up sometimes feeling like my brain is cooking inside my skull. That's also good. Um, I don't, you know, have to rub my own blood off my arms. That's good. Ah. I mean, you've been through a lot of shit. That will do a number on it for you. Everybody's been through a lot of shit. Nothing special Most there. Most people didn't fall into one of That, uh... I'm... trying not to think about that. I won't mention it again. Uh, kind of like uh, falling into the water that time. Try not to think about yeah. that too. Uh, the most yeah. dangerous thing for you is not people, it's mostly liquid, eh? Seems that way. Falling into shit. That's my problem. Huh. Yeah, yeah. The drowning in rock. That in you when we're close to drowning in water. I'm fine as long as I stay on my feet. Uh, well, yeah, if yeah. I think them. I'm fine. Don't hesitate. I can help. I'll be fine. Them. How much you can do about my brain? You always say that. And I'll be fine. Yeah, I always say that, and yeah. I'm right. Right here, all fine. <laughs> I just wanted to know that if I, if there's somebody I trust, it's you. That's uh, weird.
and you say you're going to do something, you do it. Mm-hmm. Try to. The only time I not sure is when you say you're fine. Hmm. But I'll yeah. This seems like a lot. I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying not to think about it. And uh, that seems to be working pretty well. Most of the time. <clears throat> it's not so great when I'm asleep and I can't do jack shit about my dreams. So uh, I'm... Now that I've thought about it today, I'm just going to try to uh, think about Andra when I fall asleep, and hopefully that will be enough of a distraction. Wow. All the things I tried not to think about, the blue flame killed me with it. Hmm. That was weird. So that's what I have a nightmare about. Yeah, I don't know anything about making them stop, so. I'm not going to be much help there. Uh, Ryzen could probably get you drunk and tell you enough stupid jokes that just, you'll forget all about it, or do a weird, freaky dance and that'll haunt you instead. Trust me, that will haunt <laughs> you instead. I... Yeah. I don't know which was I worse. I, I don't know if smelling myself cooking was worse, or seeing his ass shaking in front of me. And I, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a thing. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yep, definitely going to have to think about Andre tonight. Because, well, I need my yeah. brain script out. <laughs> oh, yep. I'm so, just, uh, keep an eye on him. I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I, I'm the one who suggested we kill the goose. We need to, though. For sure. Yeah. This last time and... I picked up a cause and brought people to do something, it ended very badly. As long as it's all of us and not just me pushing for this, it should be fine. No, no, we all want him gone. The all the weird shit that happens here is because of him. Yeah. Like it all leads oh. back to him. Like the slavery and the freaky people that had parts where they shouldn't be, and the sickness and all of it. So he can be gone. The orcs can run rampant. Not rampant. They're organized. The orcs can have their little empire thing with little pockets for people who aren't orcs. And if they don't like it, they'll go back to the mainland and it'll be fine. Yeah. Anyway, we can deal with orcs if we need to. Yeah. It's just that last time I brought people to fight a great evil, it didn't end well. Well, this time it's not going to end well for evil. The mind. Can't lose a tribe again. You're not. Nobody... 
plans to die. Except maybe Trustius, and that's why we're going to keep an eye on him. So, it'll be fine. Well, I'll have to keep all of you from trying to kill yourself. Try. I'm trying to kill the other guy. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Trust me. The only thing I'm thinking in a fight is making the other person stop. It's... It's great. You would... <laughs> I mean, you would think someone... You would think someone who charged like that as a dead wish, but i seen nope. you kill people. I know you know that you can win. I, <laughs> I just... It's... I don't even know how to describe it. It's just... It sounds really weird to say it's cleansing, but man, there's a... It's like everything else gets washed out. And it's just the fight. And it's so... present. And... Clear and focused. The feeling when you close in on the time. Hmm. Th that feeling you have when you close in on your prey. Yeah, maybe. I don't have room to concentrate on anything else. There's no. There's no other thoughts, and it's great. It just makes everything simple for a few minutes. I'm not worrying about tomorrow. I'm not worrying about whether we've got enough food or water or torches or anything. It's just me and whoever's in front of me. And that's it. Simple is the currency we have very few of. It gets real simple in a fight. Yeah. I'm going to feel. <laughs> There's no weird fiddles on walls. No walking gingerbread men. Ugh. Okay. Keep an eye on him. Um, you don't have anything to worry about that you don't understand. <laughs> Everything is laid out in there. Yeah. It's just yeah. healing blood. Again. It's, it's, it's all about armor and angles. And how fast you move. Yeah. Placing the perfect spot. Mm hmm. Kinda. Yeah. I've been looking for them, looking for that moment. The moment you know that every movement was perfect, everything was just as it should be. Keep the world in balance, you know? I'll keep an eye on it. Good. I just didn't want to be the only one. I have to sleep sometime, right? So. Yep. And I mean, there's not much that Call the Horizon could probably do about it, so other than yell really loud. <laughs> oh, I mean, Horizon might try to shake Pretty something. sure Rizin could break his move. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but uh, I don't think I want him on the receiving yeah. end of Tristius' magic. Yeah. I get it. Like, I get that he's not fragile. I mean, that that hammer. Who that hammer. <laughs> but he is still kind of little. And I get that little doesn't mean that there isn't, like, a, a strength there and a hardiness. But still, 
It tweaks the oh, back. Oh, he definitely of me. found. He definitely found the fight in himself, but yeah. Holy it's... fuck! Yeah. Anyway, he, he has lots of anger and unresolved issue. We needed to pass on people needs. Yeah. I think maybe he needs to start making bread again. Like. <laughs> I walked into the kitchen at the inn once when he was making bread. Just backed out. <laughs> he was pounding the ever-loving shit out of it. And I don't know if that's how you're supposed to make bread, but... Yeah. Uh, if, that, if that brings him joy... I mean, it was good bread. But you say that. Uh, that's why I wanted the, the village to be safe. I don't think he wanted... Uh, to not have the fight. I don't know. You can see him making bread. Can you <laughs> see yourself fishing? Uh, no. I mean, I have. <coughs> I'm not good at it. And we're definitely going to starve to death if we're going to count on that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no. I'm, uh, no, I'm not cut it for fishing. Especially fishing. if you cannot find yourself, uh, cannot find yourself to rest when we kill the coup, we'll have to find something to do with these ants. Maybe we could keep hunting some beasts, dragons and stuff yeah. like that. Maybe. We cannot just move around and try to look for you to kill some bandits. Because at some point, some of them is going to be drunk, and that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. One step at a time. Gotta get this thing forged, find out a weakness. And, uh... Yeah. Are you... Which of the... Powerful. You're, you're taking the hourglass, the brooch, right? Yeah, the, the Felora the hourglass. Yeah, yeah Felora. Okay, Felora. just checking. Yep. Okay. Do you want to speak with um with Bria tonight, or did you want to do something? Andra. Yeah, I'll try to. See if she knows anything and I'm tell gonna, her that we found the others. And I'm going to see speak if she... the dwarf to know if they know an oracle. Uh, some people of the Dordic profession can speak with the past and the stars to know things that they shouldn't. Maybe that's a way to know what Jakku's weaknesses. Maybe. Maybe I can learn this or find someone who can find the information. Or else I'll have to teach myself how to look into the past. That's freaky, but you have fun with that. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, yeah, magic. I, know, I, I don't I know. I know some of my brethren. <laughs> it's either that or we find someone who knows a lot about... We, it's either that or we find someone who knows a lot about demon, and I don't think we want to deal with those people. Not really, no. Yeah. I'll try to keep the free ship to a minimum. Alright, so as you guys get ready for bed, um, are Kaldi and Ryzen doing anything? No, not really. No. We're just regaling the dwarves with stories of the awesomeness of fighting the dragon. Perfect. And they will definitely be... Oh, go ahead. Punctuating, you know, my awesomeness with the hammer, because why wouldn't I? Well, of course. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, uh, for the for the dwarves, for, for, you know, somebody who, I mean, honestly, the dwarves tend to view the halflings as, like, farmers. Uh, you know, for uh, for a halfling to you know take up arms against a dragon, but not only arms, but like a finely made dwarf and hammer dedicated to one of their gods, 
uh, yeah, you've basically got them. Like they are, they are, you know, plying you with drinks and giving you all the food you can eat and, like, just, you know, everything that you could want from them. I'm going to try to take some food in doggy bags for the trip. All right. They will pack it up for you. Neat little, like, wax paper wrapped sandwiches and cold meats and, like, literally treated like a king. <laughs> I am not going to stop them. Let them fuel my ego. Right. This is going to end up with a, with a dwarven wife. Uh, hey, if I can't have hot tawny cutane, then, you know. Um, other than that, night time. I need sleep real uh, bad. My wisdom is shot. <laughs> yeah, I need sleep. I'm, I'm going to try to sleep a bit farther away from the crown so I can try to have a talk with the brute. All right. Pretty sure the Dwarven camp is big enough for us to sleep farther apart of it. So, everybody goes to their beds, gets some much-needed sleep. Uh, but during the evening, all of you, and trust you, um, find yourselves in a shared dream, surrounded by seven tall, very lithe, hooded figures. Sorry, who does? All of you. We all do. And one are we the, all together? You are. Uh, and a voice that you recognize is, uh, as Andres says, it is dangerous having us all together. It is only a matter of time now. We're doing as fast as we can. Keeping us together is very dangerous. Oh, we think I found a way to keep you hidden. If we keep you together under under the power of them. Until you screw up. Oh yeah. That is a looming possibility that I fear. What else, what else would you have us do? You must act quickly. Humans, elves, dwarves, the shorter lived races have a tendency to Make mistakes. So what do you longer-lived people recommend? Do you have a plan? Um, if your plan is merely to keep us together and hope Jacuz does not notice, that is folly. Oh no, we know he notices. We've known that for a while. Ah, uh, we're getting the dwarves to... Keep you... We're getting the dwarves to forge a weapon. Interesting. We need to know Jakuza's weakness. So Okatai can make a poison to coat the weapon with. Oh, it's doubtful any poison would be strong enough to affect him. But Felora knows more. And one of the other 
tall figures. We'll step forward. I'll look, I'll look at uh, at Desi <laughs> when he says that Philora would know more. <laughs> I had my guess. Mm. Mortal poisons won't affect the demon. No, but I spoke with an alchemist to help me learn how to make poison for demons. Hmm. Interesting. It would be stronger if I knew something that is abhorrent to his nature, but it should work. Mm. But I want to make it stronger. It doesn't seem like a foe I should. Oh, I don't necessarily know if you would have the stomach for it. I kind of need to know either way. Mm. Chikuz is the antithesis of life. So life is abhorrent to him? Yes. That well, way, infuse a... life and a blade, or in a poison. So we shower him with kindness and kind words. Oh, I can't fucking do that. I can't do that to people I like. Hmm. I could be able to do that to him. <laughs> you could certainly could. do that briefly. <laughs> no, I really couldn't. Yeah, I'm not sure she can do that. I mean, no. I could. I, I, I need to put something in the poison that is alive without killing it. I didn't say the second part. How would sacrificing life make it not bound to death instead of life? It would have to be willing. Oh. Yeah. I see. Willing life force is a powerful tool. You're a druid, you should know that. Yeah. I was just afraid that it would link it to death either way. But you're right. The sacrifice is what's important. I mean, the abilities I can grant you as my brooch will require tremendous sacrifice. But what price would you pay to be able to turn the tide of fate? And what would... I assume since you're linked, you decided to be reborn as an already last. You had a link with time? Uh, I am capable of seeing fates. Nudging fates. I've been trying to learn to see past the present, but I haven't found a teacher. I'm sure one will come your way. All things happen to those who wait. Yes. Be warned, once you forge this weapon and implant the gems, which I believe is your intent we will no longer yes. be hidden I'm not entirely yeah. sure you're hidden now well the clown seems to work to hide them uh, Lindardus has his own agenda it suits him to keep us hidden for now So is we there, should forge the weapon, but put the gem in only when we are ready to act. Sorry, what was that? Desi? But we'll still need to find him. Find the clues. Nothing. He's not hard to find. He's bound to where we bound him. He can't 
believe his influence is felt over the island. His minions can get everywhere. He himself is bound to a location. Where? She seems to think for a second. And the city of Straka, a city that was built around his desires. The city of Rust. It's... That's the one up north with the... Uh, weird Rust waterway there. for us to get in? Well, it was one way you were told to get in. We are we're also invited to come there. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem so great. Mm. But yes, when he was bound, his essence lingers. It draws individuals to him. He'll promise you and can give you whatever it is you want. It's not hard to gain followers. So... Whether you want wealth or power, political or magical. Whether you want merely for people to like you. Whether you want for your guilt to be absolved. Whether you want a family. He will grant it in return for servitude. Yeah. Only thing he didn't seem fond of on granting is freedom. It's the one thing he can't grant. Unfortunately, it's the only thing I want. You'll have to resist being offered all the treasure in the world, though. All the treasure in the world isn't uh, worth it if you're 72 years old and living on an island that when you die, you get consumed by a demon. Maybe he'll promise not to consume you. Yeah, I don't believe him. I he promises too. Oh, if he promises and you swear servitude, he'll live up to his end of things. Whose side are you on here? Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah, he still would. You forget we all served him at one time or another. I saw where lead. I saw Caramaldo. But if you uh, if you forge a weapon, I'm not judge. destroy the stone that he's bound to, he'll be temporarily made manifest, weakened. It's not the worst plan I've heard. What kind of stone are we talking about? Oh, it's a like a. It's a simple stone. It's infused with magic, but if you're creating a weapon, one would assume you're creating a weapon capable of destroying powerful entities. Yeah, but... See, simple stone has different meanings to different people. I think a simple stone, I'm picking a rock up off the ground. That's a simple stone. Well, larger, like an obelisk or something? <laughs> larger than that. Is it a uh, gemstone? Is it just a rock? Gravestone, an obelisk? Uh... No, it is a stone. I am not a dwarf. I do not know different types of stone. <clears throat> so not helpful. How big is it? She'll kind of like hold her arms out, you know, roughly like shoulder length apart. And then kind of motion about like, you know, two and a half feet off the ground. Okay. Okay, that's helpful. That's bigger than a simple stone. It is simple stone. It. Yeah. We. Yeah. We, we didn't bind him to gold or silver or. That's good. We certainly didn't bind him to anything portable. That would be. Good point. Yep. Good. 
it was gold or silver, people would have shaved him off by now and he'd be everywhere. More than he is now. They would have destroyed the stone in the process. Mm-hmm. And if it was no, it would good. not be where we left it. Yep. Excellent. For a shortly lived race, you do understand some things. Yeah, we have to learn fast because we die fast. Some of us even know about stones. Very. Do any of your people have uh, an ability to make magical objects? Mm. Once, perhaps, but not currently. Since we're going to try to make a magical weapon. We better check every wisdom we can find. Once his prison is breached, though, you will need to act quickly. He will not be manifest for more than a handful of heartbeats. And then he will be freed. It's going to be the time to find that sword with that poison in his heart. The time between him being freed and him fleeing is when you will need to strike. Do you know his wife? Mm, he was not married. His girlfriend then? Hmm. Perhaps. The witch from the ice tower. Mm. I, I find it doubtful that a being of his nature would have a wife or a girlfriend, but perhaps a loyal That's servant. That's how she sees him. Oh, without a doubt. If what she required was love and devotion in exchange for servitude, he would grant it without thinking. And half elven, half demon. Hmm. These things happen. Rarely. She will prove difficult. But she was not there in your time, I assume? No. Perhaps she was merely a... advice to get rid of her, too. Perhaps she was merely a deluded cultist. Certainly wouldn't be the first religious fanatic Perhaps. who believed that their god loved them. That they were married to their god. Yeah. Did the blue flame ring any bell to you? It's an ancient nature god. Relatively powerless without followers. Can I appear to some orc leader push him to organize his people? Nature comes and nature goes. Told him he could replace Jakus. Something undoubtedly will. Nature abhors a vacuum. Mm. It may take time. It's entirely possible it takes so much time that none of you will still be alive. But eventually, something will replace him. Do the world brother knight bring any bell to you? No. Hmm. 
so in the meantime, while we're getting ready, is there anything we need to know about the armor and the brooch? Fari and Felora. Oh. My companion fancied herself a protector and chose a form fitting. We'll provide you some degree of protection against uh, demonic abilities, demonic magic. Uh, I myself am capable of giving you a second chance with proper, with a proper sacrifice. The bigger the Sorry. sacrifice, the bigger the chance. What do you mean a proper sacrifice? Oh, my previous form, uh, I once aided a king who gave his life following a defeat in order to replay the entire three days of battle. If your mistake is significantly smaller, the sacrifice will be smaller. Did he sometimes just gaining a few seconds back can be life and death? Exactly. Like, did he bargain his way up to that? There is no bargain. <clears throat> you decide how much time you would like to redo and you pay the price. But you can't redo the same time over again? Mm, depends on the length of time and what the sacrifice was. Like if I, I don't know, sacrificed a squirrel that I've known for since I got on this island. Mm, the squirrel is not part of you. Thankfully. No, despite his best efforts. <laughs> so it's not really a sacrifice. More of a willing donation, really. It's but if, would you, you know, would you... could could someone sacrifice something for, say, redoing an hour, and then if that wasn't sufficient make a second sacrifice to redo the entire day. Yes. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Is if the king just went, you know, fuck it, three days. Or if he actually, you know, incremented his way up to that. Bear in mind that I do not allow this ability to be used. For well, things. given that you asked someone to sacrifice something important. Would, no, I would hope they didn't do it frivolously. So if uh, if the mistake that you made was within the last hour, a finger will suffice. If it was within the last 24 hours, your arm. Here I have been giving fingers away for free like a sucker. <laughs> And longer than that would be your life. Gotcha. That's, that's good to know. Would, uh, uh, do my you best would not to surprise after the time is enough. Sorry, what was that, Desi? Oh, I said I will try not to need that information. Hmm. And but then, how? Oh. Go ahead. Sorry, I think I was uh, repeating Okatai's question of how uh, long is that an option for? Mm. The longest anyone has uh, sacrificed their life for was a week. Hey, I got an example. I got a question. This, uh, the answer is probably no, but. Oh, no. Depending on 
what the sacrifice would be. Could we go back far enough that we never end up on this godforsaken rock in the first place? <laughs> that was also going to be my question. I suppose you could if one of you was willing to give your life for it. Would you, would you take your prize after the time has been redone? No, the price we can is... redo a day of battle. I'd rather be alive to do that day and die at the end. Then it's not. A but sacrifice. if I do die before the time is rewinded, it might not serve a purpose. It's not a sacrifice if it's not paid up front. And would he, even the the people who didn't make the sacrifice would they even know that somebody did if they went back in time? Wouldn't they make the same decisions all over again? Oh no, they would be fully aware as to what happened. Oh, okay. Uh, otherwise, what would prevent you from making the same stupid mortal choices? Well, see, that's what we're kind of concerned about. Like, if I'm going to give my life to get a week back, then I'm not going to be there to try to fix whatever I think I should have fixed during that week. Because I have to pay up front. As opposed to letting me have the entire week to fix whatever it was. And then, you know, taking me at the moment when I finally got it right. This is not meant to fix your mistakes. The king's army lost. Not because of decisions he made. Because they made some tactical errors. Would you re retain that power once we fit you in the sword? My understanding or whatever is weapon we make. once we are combined into the sword, our powers will be focused to a singular purpose. Yeah. So no, no redoing that final strike. Okay. Gotta get it right on the first time. Also good to know. Yeah, rather make sure. But my compatriots and I are interested in seeing how this goes. We haven't been together in quite some time. Uh, I never held long by anyone with the means and capabilities audacity 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 is a good word the word you're looking for is audacity that is a that is a perfectly fine word to describe <laughs> your kin yeah <laughs> uh, I was looking for a name for our group because uh, the dwarf were addressing us uh, yep an audacity of adventures uh that, like the murder of Crow? That fits. Like Us, that. anyway. <laughs> uh, but that is one thing that uh, you have going for you. Is that uh, elves would never attempt this. And, no. And when she says that, even though Tony's not here, she looks like pointedly at Trustius. <laughs> <laughs> We're bad influences. That remains to be seen. I suppose that depends on whether you succeed or fail. Mm, see? And, uh... Sometimes. I mean, we'll have uh, four chances. Hmm. We wish you luck. Sometimes rest, recklessness is mercy upon oneself. <laughs> and uh, and with that, they will uh, they will fade away and let you guys get some much needed sleep. Raise the rest button. Everybody can hit the rest button. <laughs> what? The rest button. I would like to. 
I would like to spend some XP while I rest, and I'm going to take Fearless at three. All right. <laughs> After that conversation. <laughs> I am also also going to spend some XP. I'm going to. It takes 15 points to move from move to three from two, right? Yes, yep. it does. I'm spending 15 points. That's all I have. All right. I have to wait until after this game to spend XP. Are you still not sleeping? <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm sleeping. Uh, it's just that I have 24 XP right now. And I need 25 to get melee 5. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I want melee 5. We want so. you to have melee 5. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be terrible. I like it. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yes, following this uh, discussion with the elves and... Uh, some shared information uh and incidentally uh just so the players are aware the way the the way the powers work for the armor the armor gives you bonus dice to resist demonic powers on top of being like plate armor that counts as a light item uh and the the brooch uh you can sacrifice a finger to redo an hour you can sacrifice an arm to redo a day and you can sacrifice your life to redo three days or longer Uh, everybody basically. Uh, I'm gonna check with Trespass next game, but I would keep the uh, the brute ship. Okay. Yeah. yeah, keep that away from him. If people are keep it away from Trespass. People are right with that. I would just... <laughs> yeah. If we could put Trespass at one end of the camp and that brooch at the other, <laughs> that would be ideal. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but yes, I think we'll uh, I think we'll call it there. I, I don't trust his ability to self sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, we'll end it there a little bit earlier than usual, but I think that's a good place after talking to the elves. Um, I wanted to talk to the dwarf uh, who gave us the quest about Rustbite. Should we do that next time? Uh, yeah, we can do that next time, because he won't be able to fix Respite until they get the forge up and running. Like, oh yeah, I just wanted to have the conversation about him, with him, about and what we could do with it. Yep. But it can wait for next time. Yep. Um, so, uh, XP, participate in the game session. One XP. Uh, travel through a hex? No. Uh, discover a new adventure site? No. Defeat monsters? No. Find treasure? No. Not this time. Uh, build a function? No. Activate pride? No. Suffer from dark secret? No. Risk your life? No. Uh, any extraordinary actions? I don't think so. Not this time. No. It was it was very much a exposition. Get... Exposition. It was an RP heavy game. Yeah. Uh, which does mean... I it's... didn't get... Uh... Sorry? Didn't get Desi to open up about her feelings, so it's not extraordinary action yet. <laughs> <laughs> you got her to admit more than most. Uh, so yeah, so yep. it, it looks like uh, one XP. That brings me to the twenty-five I uh, need I'm though just... for melee five. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just gonna say one thing, uh, uh, Anita. You did train at the village, at the training facility, and it it uh, makes uh, buying melee. One XP less for your next point if you hadn't oh. already used that ability. Oh right, yes, because she hasn't raised melee since she trained. Yep. Have I? I don't think I so. thought I did. No, because you've been at melee four I for think a you while. Had already. Uh, I have. Uh, I keep track. I have a note on my sheet that my next melee and my next uh, um, range is uh, one less XP. And I remember yeah, we trained I, again. I thought I used it. Let me uh, do a quick control F in my notes. Yeah. I mean, if you this did, why I... if you did, it means you could buy it this session when you slept. Otherwise, you can buy it next time you sleep. So. 
Right. Oh yeah, the village has a training ground. That was August 31st. There you go. Um, did I use it though? No, because I got marksmanship. You have your XP lock? That day. For for anybody who may be watching, Anita keeps very detailed notes. Her uh, her notes in our subject <laughs> game are 61 pages as a Google Doc. I mean, that's for that's for close to forty sessions. My campaign notes aren't sixty-one pages. Okay, my that's I don't think I've written twenty pages of notes since I started gaming again in two thousand sixteen. <laughs> I mean, my, that includes two games I ran. <laughs> each of my each of my game notes is a separate file, so yeah. What is yeah, yeah. I don't know See, how much that would make. I keep all of my games separate, like all the campaigns separate. Uh, my Star Trek notes are excessive because I play a Vulcan, and I figured the only way yeah. I can even remotely pretend to keep up with a Vulcan mind is to have copious notes. My notes in this game aren't quite as bad, but they're probably close. I write about a page. For every session, Be- between uh, Anita, uh, yeah, Anita, and Mark and York in this game of Call of Cthulhu, I'm like, oh, I don't need notes. <laughs> that's why Control F is so wonderful. 